Greetings and welcome to another garage update video. Um, you find me in the midst of trying to work out and indeed resolve um, the smell that I've been getting uh, since I had the sports cat installed over at Blackline Performance. If you've seen the video, the vlog of me getting the part installed, um, you'll all have seen that I did notice a smell initially and I thought that it was just a smell of like the fact that it was a brand new cat and of course it's less restrictive so perhaps more fumes were getting out and maybe it would have died down after a while but it doesn't necessarily seem to be dying down so far and it's been about a week since I got the install done. What I'm doing today is I am essentially trying to check the work that those guys have done as much as I can see. I'm essentially looking at the area, the connection between the cat and the rest of the exhaust and well, there was nothing abundantly obvious. Um, one thing I've done so far is the clamp that connects the, the end, the last small section of the exhaust, which has the V-band connection to the rest of the exhaust, wasn't all the way in, so I removed the clamp, pushed it all the way in, and tightened the clamp, so that's one thing. Um, the V-band connection itself looked okay. Um, then the connection beyond that, which is the small section that connects um, the cat side of the V-band connection to the rest of the cat, um, I noticed that it had some kind of weird gloop um, all the way like around the edge uh, which I wasn't quite sure what was going on there um, and also um, the clamp it, well, it was not quite all the way at the end but I'm not 100% sure really if, that, if either of those things would cause the smell but I am going to take a bit of time to tidy that work up um, just to see if it does resolve this smell issue the smell of exhaust gases uh, which is not overly pleasant in the cabin uh, because I, I reached out to uh, Munchen and I asked them like is this meant to make this smell even initially while it beds in and they came back to me after a couple of days and said no it shouldn't make any smells in the cabin whatsoever and there could be a leak somewhere which obviously is a bit concerning and I asked I did but I, I also did a bit of research around some forums and there's sort of conflicting reports as to whether that will burn off after it, the newness goes away or um, and then others are just saying just flat no it shouldn't do that so um, I, I, this is what I'm doing today is just the first step in trying to work out and resolve the smell and um, because obviously I don't want to be like gassed in my car you know it's not very nice um, but yeah so that's what we're doing now um, I have taken off that section um, the last section of the cat that connects to the exhaust I have it over there and that gloop is actually like like, sort of it's it's like it's like kind of like silicone sealant but it's not even like dry it's still like wet after a week and it just doesn't look good to me and um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of that completely because I don't like it and it sh to, me, you know, to me it shouldn't be there at all um, I'm gonna get rid of that tidy it all up um, both over at the car side and on that connection side. I'll show you that in a second and then I'll put it back together and we'll see how we get on from there. Um, if I don't get it worked out, then I'm going to have to, you know, go to, well, I don't know if there's any point in going to Blackline, um, probably like a Ford dealer or someone else and look for leaks on the turbo side. It's a bit more difficult to get a really good view at. So yeah, I mean, that would be like the, the next step if it doesn't resolve it. So I'm gonna do that. Um, also, I have a little package here, which is pretty cool. And that is a little gift that came all the way from America. It came from Turtle Wax. So this is it. They did send me an email to say that they were going to send me something out, but they didn't tell me what it was. And it's a very long package. And as you can see, I have not opened it yet. So I'm going to open it in front of you guys. So I don't think this is like any detailing product. I think it is just some candy, some merch, you know what I mean? So. There we go. Very exciting. Okay, so I can immediately see something rolled up and that looks a lot like a garage banner to me. Feels like it too, yeah. So check that out. So you can see we've got the Hybrid Solutions logo holding that together. So we'll unwrap that in a second. And what else do we have? There is something else in there. Ooh. It is a Turtle Wax Hybrid Solutions hat. Look at that. That's cool. It's kind of like a trucker cap, but sort of like a modern style trucker cap. Hybrid Solutions logo in sort of like a rubber uh, flex fit. Uh -huh. Yeah, look at that. Brandedbills.com. 
So. <laughs> yeah, like a glove straight from the box. I like it, nice. So yeah, let's, let's have a look at the garage banner. Seems a shame to rip that, but I uh, can't have to. Seems like this. It seems like pretty huge. This. Whoa! <laughs> Look at that. Hybrid solutions. So that is quite. Um, it's quite the large banner. Uh, I mean, like I do have a banner like of my car up here, as you can see, um, which is nowhere near as big as this. So I'm not sure where I'm going to put this. Maybe I'll like you know put it up on that wall or or something, you know, but uh, wow, yeah, that's pretty awesome. So big thank you to you, Turtle Wax for sending out the Hybrid Solutions merch, Hybrid Solutions garage candy. Yeah, it's actually a really comfortable hat. Very, very nice, I must say. Um, so yes, like I was saying, big thank you to Turtle Wax for that. Go check out Turtle Wax, check out the whole Hybrid Solutions range. Um, I've been using it recently, in fact. Um, I've been using some of the ceramic 3-in-1 detailer, which is just great. And probably my favorite product in the range, the ceramic washing wax. It's really, really, really good shampoo. With no extra effort, you get lots of hydrophobic properties from the ceramic. And it's just awesome. It's just a really good, handy shampoo. And so now we'll go over here. Flip you around. So here we go. Uh, so this is the clamp that clamps this section down here onto the rest of the cat. And if I flip it around here, you can see, hopefully, you see that gunk? And then it's like all in here, but it's like all sort of just kind of all over the place, but not very even and it just doesn't look right. And you can see kind of where I ran, ran my finger over it like it's... If I, like it's sticky and wet, you know, it's ugh, it's just not very nice at all. So I'm going to clean that out, get rid of all that crap, and then we'll get our clamp on and we'll get it properly positioned. It was kind of a bit far back here uh, for my liking. Hopefully then we'll get a good metal to metal contact and that will at least rule out this as a potential cause of our leak, a cause of our smell. So yeah, time to get that cleaned up. So lots of mess later, I have finally got it, you know, decently cleaned up in there. Um, it really did not want to come off. I do not know what that stuff was, um, but I had to eventually resort to using WD-40 and then this foam pad to just scrub at it and it eventually came off. But, you know, it's just like, it's just such weird, you know, there's some of it off of the floor, like, can you, like what? It's just, ugh. Just, it, it, in my book, it's just wrong, you know? Um, but anyway, uh, now, I mean, this bit is okay, so I need to just go and do that on the other bit. I, I'll just bounce out and show you here. So you can see the other end where that section that we've just cleaned up goes on to, and it's just like, that glip is just all like up here. It's just all around it, but not very evenly around it. If it, you know, it just doesn't make any sense to me. You know, I'm, as far as I'm aware, None of that sort of stuff was necessary. So yeah, gonna get that cleaned off and then we can get those sections put back together and then connect it to that section there with the V-band. And that section down there is the one that I've already corrected. And then I guess I'll probably check all the other connections um, through the rest of the exhaust. I, don't, I can't imagine they would have had the rest of the exhaust off down there, um, but I'll just check them out anyway. And then that'll be the first step then, like I was saying, uh, to trying to fix this problem, this weird smell, this leak it would seem um, and we'll take it from there I mean it has only been a week and then I'll give it another week or whatever and then um, if I still if it's still coming out and making a nasty smell then I will like I said have to take it to some other garage to check for leaks in at the turbo side uh, but anyway yes for now gonna get this cleaned up well there we go I've got it all cleaned up I've got it all put back together um, so yeah I mean hopefully that will make a difference but I guess we'll just have to wait and see um, so I'm going to now then have just the only thing I have to do is to put this like subframe this plate thing back on um, and then that will be that and then I'll flip the car around and I will just double check the exhaust connections down there but like I say I can't imagine they would have taken those off um, but might as well just check while I'm at it and then that will be me done for today it's getting a little bit cold out here <laughs> 
I may as well leave you there. I'm gonna just double check those joints on the rear like I was saying, but um, that's pretty much the bulk of what I was trying to get done today. So what do you think about all that exhaust stuff? Do you think that I'm sort of barking up the wrong tree? Um, do you think, should it be making any kind of a smell? Just because it's a 200 cell sports cat as opposed to a full on like stock cat? Um, or should I be looking somewhere else for the leak, i.e. at the turbo side? Uh, what do you think? Have you had any similar experiences? Um, just let me know in the description box down below and yes another big thank you to my sponsor turtle wax for hooking me up with this cool merch i can't wait to get that humongous garage banner up somewhere in here but yeah it's gonna look awesome so big thank you to them and i hope you like this little vlog type video please do like share and subscribe for more content to come very very soon thank you once again goodbye